Zach Berman profiled TJ Edwards. He covered him, and he knows the league as well as basically anyone I've ever met. He joins us now on the Circa Resort and Casino Hotline, Circa Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, home of the world's largest sports book. ZB, thanks so much uh, for the time, man. What should Bears fans know about TJ Edwards? Good, solid player, right? The type of player who who I think helps a winning team. Um, and, and, and for uh, Fort Bears fans, they would like to know that he's from the Chicagoland area, uh, grew up a big Bears fan, tailgating at games. You know, his dad sent me a picture before the Eagles-Bears game back in December of, of him uh, as a kid wearing a Devin Hester jersey. And, and T.J. Edwards can talk to all your listeners about the Lance Briggs, Brian Ehrlicher era. That, that, that's when he came up. But as a, as a football player, the best way I, 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 I can explain him is this, is uh, he was a standout at Wisconsin who went undrafted because he did not run well. And from the day he got into Philly as an undrafted guy, looked like he belonged. Every time they they tried to bring in someone to replace him, T.J. Edwards was better. Uh, he was he was smarter. He knew where to be. He doesn't have the time speed, but he knows exactly where to be on the field. I, I think he's a good player. So where did he play in terms of spot on the linebacker? Uh, because we've been thinking about it. Originally, I think we were thought about that maybe he was the middle, but you know, Tremaine Edmonds is a middle linebacker and has the speed to go deep. So it could be uh, the weak side linebacker, the will in this defense. Yeah, I think he can play any of the spots, to be honest with you. Probably more uh, Will or, or, or Mike than Sam. I, I mean, he's, he's not you know, particularly tall, but he can cover. Um, and, and, and so I think, I think he can play either one of those spots. Uh, I wouldn't worry so much about that. I actually think there's, there's probably comparisons between him and Sanborn. Uh, and, you know, they were both coached by the same high school coach in Chicago, Luke Mertens, actually, both Wisconsin guys. Uh, so similarities between those two. I think TJ is fairly versatile in that regard, but you have to understand what you're getting athletically. You're getting like a, a football player more than a track guy. And so on all, of all the guys, Zach, who are on that Eagles defense, he's the one who ends up with the green dot on his helmet calling out the, the plays. What should we read into that little tidbit of information? Yeah, he's he's really smart. You talk to the other players, you talk to the other coaches. He he knows uh, he he knew the defense inside out. There's a reason why he wore it. Now he did come off the field in dime situations, uh, and I I mean if I'm being candid, the Eagles kind of suffered in those situations when he wasn't on the field at times. So uh, so I think that you're you're getting someone who who can wear the green dot, and you know Eberflus. Um, his his former secondary coach is Jonathan Gannon, who was the Eagles defensive coordinator the past two years. So it was a different type of defense. The Eagles defense was more like the Vic Fangio defense and the Aberflues de- on, on defense. But, you know, that, that hits principle, uh, that was very much applicable in Philly. Love uh, some of the way that the coaches described him in your piece in The Athletic from December where Jonathan Gannon said that Edwards is emotionally stable – but then violent when the ball is snapped. I mean, that is that that that's ideal. You know, we've seen guys who can turn it on and turn it off. But having somebody who can who can be violent. Did you see that as a tackler watching him? Oh yeah, he was uh, he was a solid tackler. I thought. Uh, now he 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 played to a certain extent like you'd expect a Chicago linebacker to play, like like someone who grew up uh, watching guys at at Soldier Field. Uh, I think you're getting that part of it. I mean, I, 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 I don't mean to keep, you know, belaboring this, but what you're not getting is, is someone with, with time speed, and, and, and that's the knock on him. Um, but what I will say is, you know, the Eagles drafted four, 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 five guys, and TJ was, was a, a better football player than that. And, and, you know, that's why he, he kept staying on the field. And uh, it, it wasn't really until, the end of the 2021 season when they were just like, all right, we got to keep playing him because every year it seemed like they were trying to replace him. And every year he was simply better than the other guys they had. Zach Berman covers the Eagles for the athletic. He profiled TJ Edwards uh, ahead of bears Eagles and TJ Edwards actually going to join us uh, in 15 minutes. Zach, you told us, you know, that the Eagles don't spend on linebacker with draft capital or with money and Ian Cunningham is here, and on the first day of free agency, when the Bears have more money than anyone to spend, 
they sign two linebackers. Are you surprised? Uh, I, 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 you know what? Not necessarily. <laughs> I love <laughs> that. That's, 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 that's where we are. That's where we are. Uh, 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 mm, mm, ooh, mm, yeah. I'll say this. Tremaine Edwards, I'm sorry, Tremaine Edmonds is a, is a special type of player. You know, I had a piece on The Athletic where, uh, you know, my colleague and I, Bo Wolf, we were going back and forth and on doing superlatives on, on free agency. And the question was, if the cap didn't exist, who would you sign? And I said Edmonds because if you're talking about like a 24-year-old, which I, I believe he is, yes. yep. physically, un, I mean, you don't see guys who are 6'4", 6'5", 250 pounds, can run sideline to sideline the way he can. He's he's just different, and I like spending money on players who are different. Uh, so I uh, that kind of makes sense to me. Now, I've done in conjunction with TJ. Yeah, that that does surprise me. I mean, TJ's contract seems you know seems like a solid deal. Seems the type of deal that he deserves to get, but it doesn't it doesn't blow you out of the water. Now now signing both of them, that's that's. It, it, it's the type of it's the type of thing you can do when you have the cap space the Bears can have. I'll, I'll I'll put it that way. I mean, if I'm building a roster, I would rather sign guys on you know my defensive line and my offensive line than have as much money tied up in the linebackers. But Tremaine Edmonds is a is a you know a, a rare player, and you can make exceptions for rare players. So Javon Hargrave, who I coveted. Signs yeah. in San Francisco. Um, goodness, that defensive line is outrageous right now. Were you surprised at all at the volume of guaranteed money that Hargrave got and how quickly he was off the board? Not at all. I mean, I I frankly thought Chicago was was going to go after him because he's, in my opinion, he was the top you know free agent. Now he's he's thirty years old, right? And, and so that that might not correspond totally with the timeline that Chicago has. Um, but he, I wasn't surprised to see that. And I thought the Eagles would try their best to keep him, but at $21 million a year. And then when I saw what, what Payne got last night, that um, played into it as, uh, as well. I didn't think they'd be able to. But, no, Hargrave, he deserves that money. 11 sacks from a defensive tackle, um, that's, 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 uh, that's, what you, that, that's, that's worth paying for. Last thing for me, Zach Berman covers the Eagles for the Athletic. The Bears have so many needs. The Eagles have a lot of free agents, ZB. Um, I Help me out with the pronunciation on the second one. Uh, Andre Dillard, I know. Isaac Sayumalo? I'm not sure how to pronounce yeah. that. The, the yeah, last... Isaac Sayumalo. Yeah, yep. okay. Um, either one of those guys, potential starters for the Bears in terms of you know value, maybe day two, day three free agent signings? Oh, I think Isaac's going to get uh, paid a hefty amount. I, I didn't see Nate Davis's contract in Chicago yet. You guys might know more. Um, Three for I thirty thought, with nineteen guaranteed. Okay, yeah, uh, that's a, that, that's that's a reasonable deal. I think Isaac can potentially get more than that. Um, okay. Isaac's versatile. He can play. He can play five spots on 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 the offensive line. Realistically, you're probably looking at four spots on the offensive line. Uh, he's he's an underrated player who's not underrated within league circles. So I, I think he's going to get paid quite a bit. Andre Dillard, you're, you're, you're signing based on draft pedigree. Former first-round pick who was drafted to be Jason Peters' as replacement at left tackle. That was the plan going into the 2020 season. Dillard gets hurt in training camp. Uh, Jordan Mailata, um, you know, stepped in a few weeks into the season and – it became his job. He he beat Dillard out the following year. Dillard never really had significant starting experience at left tackle. Uh, so there is a gamble. If if you liked him coming out of Washington State, it's worth looking at. But you you really need to have conviction because you don't have NFL tape to convince you that he can be a starting left tackle. Zach, great stuff. We're about to talk to TJ Edwards. Obviously, we'll ask him about the uh, Devin Hester jersey and the Briggs and Erlacher stuff. What else? What else should we talk to him about? Yeah, send him my best. He's a, he's a he's a real good ping pong player. I can I I can tell you that, and he can talk Chicago pizza as well. Oh All right, God, thanks, ZB. You're the man. <laughs> Appreciate you joining us on a busy day, man. You got it. Thanks. There are Thank so you. many similarities between Jack Sanborn and <laughs> TJ Edwards. It's remarkable. Yeah, we're gonna talk to him. Oh my god, it's gonna be great.